Now we all know a doctor. When we think of a doctor, we think of an honest person. We think of long hours and late nights in the office. We think of a person that's doing very well in life. It takes between 10 to 14 years to become a fully licensed doctor. When it comes to doctors, we have our primary doctor. We have Dr. Huxtable. We have Dr. Phil. Shit, we even have Dr. Doolittle. And if you think Dr. Evil was bad, then you better ask about Mr. Dr. James Kaufman. When it comes to drug dealers, finding a plug or connect could be the best thing that ever happened to you. That's all you hear street dudes talk about. Finding a plug, finding a connect. But you hardly hear people talk about finding a doctor. Well, the pagans didn't talk about it. They took action. The pagans is an outlaw motorcycle club that was formed in 1957. Now, what happens when a doctor and a motorcycle club join forces? Well, they would transform the doctor's office into a drug ring, pumping thousands of highly addictive opioid pain pills onto the streets in exchange for cash. Now, that's easy money. Having a licensed doctor writing your prescription for pills? Now, wait, whoever's listening to this, don't you even dare ask your doctor to do this and say, I told you to do it. I don't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> but but the easy score will go smooth until his wife finds out. She not only threatens to divorce them, but she will go to the cops if he doesn't stop. Now you see how gorgeous she is. Who would let that go? But you think going to a gang and telling them you have to stop making the money will work, right? Wrong. He would have to go to the cops and snitch on himself and others. Instead, he would end up working out a plan with the pagans. May 10th, 2012, Miss April Kaufman would be shot to death in her bedroom by a member of the pagans. He would receive $20,000 for his service. Dr. Kaufman would be remarried a year later. He even owned a $1 million condo in Philly, so money was rolling in. Time after the authorities were investigating a potential illegal drug ring where James' name popped up. As a result, they attempted to execute a search warrant at his home and work. After a long standoff with a gun to his head, threatening to kill himself, he would be arrested. January 26, 2018, Dr. Kaufman would be found dead in his cell with a suicide note. Now, I'm going to read part of the note. And to tell you the truth, it doesn't sound like anything a doctor would write. This shit sounds like something I would write. So... It says, I cannot live like this. No matter what anyone says, I didn't do anything to my wife. April came to me and said, would I like to go to a motorcycle rally to meet some of her friends? I was slightly shocked to say the least that they would have colors of pagans. I believe that at some point she became aware of it. And I think ultimately that's the reason why she was killed. I think she started to figure out things, and I think that she might have those aces in her pocket per use to keep trying to use all these things as fuel to be like, I want out. If you don't, I'm going to do this. Yes. So that's part of the suicide note. It sounds like I wrote this shit. It doesn't sound like a doctor wrote it, but see, when you work hard for something and get it the legal way, no one could take it from you. He got greedy when his life was already popping. He was doing very well before the pagans. He had a gorgeous wife, a couple of dimes in rotation, a million dollar condo in Philly, a couple of V-Twizzy sitting in his garage. Now, for the people that don't know the slang of V-Twizzy, that's a V-12 engine. On special occasions, I take my lady to Del Frisco's for dinner. He was doing this on his lunch break. Roof Chris, Ocean Prime, Sipping the best wine we can't even pronounce. Vacation homes, all types of stuff. But it will all come to an end. Shout out to all the subscribers, new and old. Shout out to the people in the comments, whether you agree or disagree with the content. There's people in the comments from all over the US that's educating me on my own videos. And I appreciate that. I left my email on my page so you could touch base with me for any reason. So keep watching. Hit that notification bell, and we're going to keep having fun. I'm out. Tonight is an explosive breakthrough in the murder of radio host April Kaufman of Linwood back in 2012. 
The Atlantic County prosecutor has announced murder charges against Kaufman's husband, Dr. James Kaufman, and charged with helping him to carry out the crime, a member of the Pagan Motorcycle Gang. Action News reporter Annie McCormick is live outside the Atlantic County Prosecutor's Office in Mays Landing. Annie, this all reads like a crime novel. What are the details here? And Jim, you're right. The prosecutor's office announcing a number of twists and turns in this case, saying that Dr. James Kaufman hired members of the Pagan Motorcycle Gang in a murder for hire plot to kill his wife, April Kaufman. The motive? She threatened to expose an illegal drug operation that Dr. Kaufman was allegedly running with the gang. I just unfortunately, saw April lying there. And she wasn't moving, and she had a pallor, which I've known after 30 years is obviously someone in has passed away and I ran downstairs and went out on the lawn and was hysterical and started vomiting. Okay, do you have tissues by the way? I got them. Do you need to no. break? 